up YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing the Denver Nuggets 2018 rebuild as we kind of done this before but it was around Paul Millsap but today we're gonna be doing the Nuggets 2018 style so let's see what this team is looking like they got Jokic of course they signed Millsap Gary Harris Wilson Chandler Will Barton Kenneth Reed Jamal Murray Jameer Nelson they, this is a plenty of young stud team like they have a lot of young studs out here on this team um, Manuel Moutier still don't know what that guy's gonna turn into but let's go ahead and look at the player contracts and see if there's anything we should be worried about Paul Millsap's contract is pretty huge I will probably be trading that not now I probably wait to make any trades um, until the deadline or something like that I do want Gary Harris back obviously um, what other what other contracts Wilson Chandler's contract uh, he could accept that player option. I really don't want him to. But we'll probably wait till the offseason to do anything. But when I look at the coach game plan, they got Jameer Nelson starting, and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, like I feel like they should just go ahead and move uh, this guy, Jamal Murray. Like I'm just curious, does he go up? No, he goes way down. But uh, Jamal Murray is said to be kind of a point guard kind of player too, so I'm going to move him to point guard. And um, I really don't want Jameer Nelson getting any minutes, to, to be honest with you. So I'm going to move Jamal, Jameer Nelson to the bottom and put a Moody, and Emmanuel Moutier in the rotation because I feel like they should put our young studs in here. I'm going to give 20 or 30 to 29, uh, 25, Kenneth Reed, Will Barton, Juan, and a Moutier. Just like that. We'll do it just like that. So you got Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Wilson Chandler, Pomos up, Jokic, Fareed, Barton, Hernan Gomez, Moutier. Honestly, I do want Moutier getting more minutes than Hernan Gomez. So I'll go ahead and do that. Although I think Moutier has been struggling lately. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And see way to the end of the season and see how we're doing. So at the end of the season, obviously our boy Nikola Jokic does win most improved. 72-10 for the Golden State Warriors. Crazy stuff. Not really interested in, in the NBA teams because they probably won't have anybody on there. If we look at the player stats real quick, see how everybody did. Um, 17 points, Paul Mills at 14. 14 at point guard for Jamal Murray, Will Barton 12, and Gary Harris 12. Okay, so we didn't make playoffs, so I'm going to go ahead and see about the playoffs. We missed it just by a little bit. Um, so we got to get in this offseason and make some moves here and there. And uh, right now we're going to see the Rockets and the Bucks, and the Rockets win the championship. So cool to see that um if my voice sounds kind of weird right now i feel like it might um i might my, my throat's kind of hurt and stuff like that but i did want to get a video out, out for you guys today so leave a like if you are enjoying so far because i am absolutely grinding right now with my i don't know i feel like i sound weird i might not let's just see what we got in the okay let's see what we got 14th pick uh eh, that's kind of trash staff signing head coach I always grab Steve Kerr because of his negotiation and trade stats. Okay, NBA draft. Uh, we do have a 14th pick, but I'm not really interested in that pick. Right now, we're going to be trading Paul Millsap away because he's old. $30 million a year. Just not interested in that at all. Um, I was trade finder. Paul, Mil Paul Millsap um, and the 14th pick. Because let's just see if we can get something good. Okay, Al Horford. Hassan Whiteside. Uh, Hassan Whiteside and uh, Nikola Jokic. That's not too bad at all. Batum, Harrison Barnes, Paul Gasol, and Andrew Wiggins. So, I do like the addition of Wiggins. Wilson Chandler was our starting small forward. Wiggins is a little bit cheaper than Hassan Whiteside. I think I'm going to do this trade. I really don't want Gorgie. Well, they're probably going to have to give me Gorgie Dang. So, we're going to get Andrew Wiggins from Minnesota Timberwolves. Why not? Wiggins was in the last video as well, so might as well feature him again. Um, I think he was in the video before that too. So Wiggins has literally been in my videos like the past three times, I believe. Um, if I'm not mistaking, obviously. Um, Justin Jackson, Joakim Noah. We should get Joakim Noah, the greatest of all time. JJ Barea for a backup point guard wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and grab these picks from the Clippers. Make the Clippers a little bit better. Gorgie Dang, why not? Okay. Um, let's go to rookie signing because we shouldn't have a pick. We should have second rounders, though, I guess. Uh, player options. Jokic accepts. Um, Murray accepts. Hernan Gomez accepts. Moutier accepts. Accept. Um, Malik Beasley, you're not going to gain minutes. So might as well not sign you. And then Wilson Chandler, Darrell Arthur accept. Great because I'm going to use them as trade pieces because I really don't want Wilson Chandler 
or Gary Harris, I can get you on that deal. That would be great if I could. Um, Will Barton, I do want Will Barton back at, off the bench because he is good. So go ahead and offer him a contract right away. And um, all right, let's go ahead and see what we got. So Wilson Chandler and I do. I really don't want Kenneth Farid all that much either. So what if I package these two together? See if I can get something different from these two guys. Let's get like an 84 plus. What about that? Can we get can we get that done? Can we get that done? 2K trade finder taking forever and shit. Oh, you know, I'm I'm cutting that out. I I can't be cussed, man. 2K is PG or uh, YouTube is PG now. We can get Hassan Whiteside. <laughs> I might just do that honestly. I get Hassan Whiteside a lot, but I mean, when he's offered to you like that. What are you going to do? You're going to take him. So I'm going to take Hassan Whiteside because uh, a core of Wiggins, Jokic, and Hassan Whiteside, I feel like um, my work here in this offseason is done. Just get role players around him now. So, all right. I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. My free agents, Gary Harris, will probably be coming back, hopefully. All right, now when we look at my team, we got Moutier, Jamal Murray, who could be played point guard again, Wiggins, um... Jokic and Hassan Whiteside. So Jokic, I'm gonna move you to the power forward, my friend, and uh, let you two run that bottom of the paint. It's gonna be nice. So we have a lot of power forwards. Row Arthur, I do want to get rid of him as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of his contract. I don't need to offer a pick. I just want to get rid of his contract. Bucks, perfect. Go ahead and take him. Okay. For agency, I don't know how much money we have. Probably not much. What? Wait a minute. We have 32 million. Jokic. Jokic is still on a one mil. I totally forgot about that. I did not know. I thought Jokic was paid already. Wow. So we have, we can go sign another max player. That is great, man. That's awesome. Okay. I have a plan in mind. Okay. He doesn't want to come. Kevin Durant, Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, Isaiah Thomas. Like, can we just run, get Isaiah Thomas to come... And then I have a plan. So we get Isaiah Thomas real quick. He can run point guard because that's what this team needs. So let's get Isaiah Thomas. No. Okay, not yet. No. Okay, he does sign now. Okay. Now. No, okay, he doesn't want to come. I was like, is Mel going to want to come back to Denver now? So we got Isaiah Thomas in Denver. I think that's a nice signing. So we got a nice four right here. Okay. So we got Isaiah Thomas. Mood is back at point guard. I'm cool with that. Jamal Murray. And Gary Harris can run the shooting guard position. I can move uh, one of the. I can move Gary Harris or Will Barton a small forward, whatever, something like that. Jokic and then Hernan Gomez can back him up. And then now we need a center. So um, probably gonna get Mason Plumley, whereas because he, he was on this team anyway. So let's get Mason Plumley real quick. I can't even sign Will Barton anymore, so that sucks. Oh well. You know, <sighs> Mello, you trying to tell me something yet? Aldridge, no. Joel Embiid, no. Okay. Gary Harris, like, um, okay, so basically, if we get Gary Harris back, I think the team will be pretty much complete, um, unless we really want to get a backup small forward, which, I mean, we could, I'm going to see if we can, I do want Mello, but Wiggins is there, so really no point, honestly, uh, Richard Jefferson, Tony Snell, uh, actually, I'm just going to get Gary Harris back, and just leave it at that. I'm going to pay Gary Harris. Because why not? And then what Wiggins. Okay, now you're trying to tell me something. No, you aren't. Okay, so let's go. Well, that's, that's the end of free agency for us. I think we had a great offseason right there. We have quite a bit of pieces to work with. Four big players. Jokic being on a one-year, $1 million contract came very clutch. Because, geez, man. That left me with $30 million in the offseason. That's pretty crazy. So we did get um, Isaiah Thomas cool there i guess um wiggins geez this is a team man this is a team obviously this is a team but i'm talking about this is a good team i mean i think i've been the rebuilding king for like the past two videos if i win a championship here there's no reason why i shouldn't be the king of rebuilding anymore just kidding i'm just kidding there are plenty of better rebuilders out there than me i totally understand that untapped potential i'll give this one to jamal murray all right that's the next season Let's see what we got as our nine-man rotation now. We have, this is going to be their nine-man rotation. Then we're going to start simulating Isaiah Thomas, Gary Harris, Wiggins, Jokic, Whiteside, Plumlee, Jamal Murray, 
Hernan Gomez, and Emmanuel Moutier. That is a starting five right there. That is a starting five. That's a nice starting five. Um, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. Shouldn't be making any moves, you guys. And let's go ahead and win another championship, back-to-back -back championships in my past two rebuilding videos. Right, guys, so at the end of the season, we barely made the playoffs, which is really stupid to me. But, you know, 2K forgot to tell me that I'm the guy that gets the crappy simulations all the time. And I forgot about that. So, obviously, I'll never be the king of anything. But anyway, um, 24 points, 17, 15, and 12. That's cool to see. 12 for Gary Harris as well. Facing Oklahoma City Thunder first. Can we upset these guys? I think we should be able to, but knowing 2K, we won't. Um, we'll go game by game. We are down 1-0 to start the series. 2-0, and we're going to get... Okay, even it up. No, we're going to go down 3-1. Okay. 2K is testing me right now. That's for sure. They are testing me. Okay. Let's win this game. All right. We barely won that game, honestly. So we are back at home, so that should help us out here a little bit. So, um, let's see. Let's see if we can win this one. 42. We dropped 40, 40 in both quarters. There's no reason we should lose that. No reason. 26, 22, 20, 19, 18, 14. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, we're forced a game seven. So, um, let's not get, let's finish this. Let's finish this thing, baby. Let's finish this thing. 30 points. We're not finishing this thing. We lose. Great. Great, 2K. Great. All right, guys. That's it for me. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And subscribe if you haven't already for more daily 2K slash NBA content. Man, that was, some, that was some stupid stuff right there, in my opinion. I think we should have made it to the NBA Finals, at least with that team we had. That's a super team, man. Whatever, guys. This is Crush Bulls, and I'm saying peace.